Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the roots of a quadratic equation. Now, I'm assuming that you're familiar with the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals naught. And if you've got a quadratic equation in this form, that you can find out what x is by using the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now, what I want to show you in this tutorial is how b squared minus 4ac, often called the discriminant, affects the number of solutions that we get. The solutions x are often called roots, the roots of the equation. Now, to demonstrate this, I've got three equations here, three quadratic equations. And if we look at the first one, x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0, I've listed below that a would be 1, b would be minus 1, and c would equal minus 6. And to save time, I've put these values into the quadratic formula. And let's see what we get. Well, you can see that I've left out the part b squared minus 4ac, the bit that's in the square root. Now if we look at this one here, what we have got is minus 1 squared, which is going to be plus 1, and then minus 4 times minus 6 is plus 24, so 1 and 24 gives us 25. So we've got the square root of 25. And what does that mean? Well, if we work this out, what we have got is 1 plus or minus, and we can square root 25, that's going to give us the plus or minus 5 and that's all divided by 2. So this is going to lead to two solutions. 1 plus 5, which is 6, divided by 2 gives 3. And the other solution is going to be 1 minus 5, which is minus 4, divided by 2 is minus 2. So what we've got here is different solutions. We call those solutions roots, so we've got different roots. Now let's go on to this second equation, x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals 0. And we've got a equals 1, b is minus 10, c equals 25. And if we put these values into the quadratic formula, then I've partially done the working for you to save time. But if we look at the square root now, what we've got here is we've got minus 10 squared, which is 100, and we've got minus 4 times 1 times 25, which is minus 100. So that's going to give us the square root of 0. And so if we work this one out, what are we going to get? Well, we're going to clearly have that this equals 10 plus or minus the square root of 0. Well, the square root of 0 is 0, so you've got plus or minus 0 all divided by 2. So, what do we get when we do this? Well, 10 plus 0 is clearly 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Or, if we take the minus, 10 minus 0 is still 10. Divided by 2 is 5. So we got, really, just one solution. We've got what we call equal roots. So let's just put that down, that we've got equal roots. We'll also say that we've really got one root. All right? And what about this final equation here? 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. a is 2, b is 2, c is 1. Put the values through the quadratic formula. I've worked it out here, except for the square root. What have we got? We've got 4 minus 8. 4 minus 8 is minus 4. So what is the square root of minus 4? Well, it's certainly not minus 2, because minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. In fact, if you're puzzled by this, you could do it on your calculator. And if you did it on your calculator, your calculator would give you an error. You get an error because you cannot square root a negative number. So what that means is that there are no solutions. There are no roots. So we'll just put this down here that there is no solution. And so we say that there are no roots.
So we just say no routes. Now, what controlled the number of routes that we got? Well, it was the value that I've written in red here. The answer that you get when you work out b squared minus 4ac. And in this first example, can you see that you can square root a positive number? And when you square root a positive number greater than 0, you're going to get plus or minus two values, which leads to two different roots. So what we've got here is that you get different roots if b squared minus 4ac turns out to be a positive number greater than 0. Now if we look at this situation, we got the same root, equal roots, which really became one root, just 5. And that occurred when we were square rooting 0. So if b squared minus 4ac, remember we call this the discriminant, turns out to be equal to 0, we get one root. So let's just put that in, that b squared minus 4ac equals 0. And finally, if you end up square rooting a negative number, it doesn't exist. You get an error on your calculator, which leads to no solution. So if b squared minus 4ac, the discriminant, is a negative number, in other words, less than 0, we get no roots. So let's just highlight these results. So different roots then, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. Equal roots if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. And no roots then if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Now what does this mean from a graphical point of view? Well, if we were to draw the graph of y equals x squared minus x minus 6, our equation up here, what it would mean is that if we just sketch our axes on, make sure we label them, then we've got two different roots. These are the values that make the equation equal to 0. It's the values that make y equal to 0. So that would mean that the graph would cross the x-axis in two places, at 3 and minus 2. So if this was minus 2 and this was 3, we've got a u-shaped curve. So we're going to have something looking like this. So our graph would intersect the x-axis in two places at the roots. And when we come on to this graph, that is the graph of y equals x squared minus 10x plus 25, then if we draw our axes again, what's going to happen in a situation like this? Well, we've got one root, and that's 5. So the curve actually touches the x-axis just at 5. And finally, on the last one here, if we were to sketch our axes in, what do you think happens if we were to draw the graph of y equals 2x squared plus 2x plus 1? Well, there are no roots, so this would not intersect the x-axis. The graph would actually look something like this. So I've drawn the graphs if it were, say, a positive x squared. If it was a negative x squared and we had two roots, the graph would be an upside down u, cutting the axis in two places. With this one, if it was a minus x squared graph with just one root, it would be a graph upside down u that just touches the x-axis. And with this one, if we had a minus x squared graph where the discriminant was negative, we would have an upside down graph like this which did not intersect the x-axis. Okay, so 
hopefully that just gives you an idea on how the roots are affected then by the discriminant here b squared minus 4ac. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.